The screen here, welcome to, doesn't matter. It seems today, more and more, if perusing social media and to, even talking to people, that um, people want their enlightenment in a kind of feel-good format. Sugary sweet and all good feelings, butterflies and tingles. Um, and there's a whole industry, you know, shaped around making people feel better. Even people screaming and smashing sticks in the forest and letting out all their anger um, to get that euphoric feeling at the end. It's all about feeling. It seems a misdirection of what enlightenment is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be about your feelings. <laughs> Often your feelings are what have misled you and taken you down the wrong path. Um, and enlightenment can't feel good. Uh, I use an analogy, um, and it's one that I um, have found cogently and personally valuable. Enlightenment is a bowl, a bowl filled with ground glass. And on the other side of it, at the very bottom of that ground glass, is nirvana, is satori, is enlightenment, is truth, objective reality, waiting for you to bestow its tremendous treasures upon you. But first, you have to be willing to push your face through that ground glass. Start pushing. That is the journey towards enlightenment for life. Periodically, you're going to have to shove your face in that bowl and push. And if you don't want to, well, no enlightenment for you. No satori. No edification, no wisdom. You will stay where you are. So, take the bowl and put your face in it and push. And it will hurt. It will be uncomfortable. You will have to see all your emotional, mental and spiritual skid marks. You will have to see all the shit you don't like. The shit you're unashamed of. The things that you would wish never came to the light of day but must at least in your own mind. And you will have to get comfortable, used to examining those things over and over again, pushing your face through that bowl of ground glass over and over again. It is the only way that we can become honest. It is the only way that enlightenment, wisdom can be given to us. It is the treasure of the greatest order. And you're not going to get it by just mantras and quiet meditation. Those things all help enormously. Smashing sticks in the forest maybe too and screaming and yelling and all those different methodologies. Some of them can be helpful to different people to some degree. But at the end of the day, a willingness to see what is there, a willingness to examine what is unexaminable, to bear what is unbearable, if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to see around the corners that you dread, if you're not willing to see your shame, the things you should be ashamed of, that you should feel shame over, or perhaps not, then you will not grow. You will not be what you could be. And you will live a life of delusion and Zoloft and on and off therapy and, and, and basically intermittent placation. You'll never be what you could be. Please, put your face in the bowl. I don't wish you pain, but I wish you what comes after that. Us.